The world celebrated International Women's Day on Friday, and we heard all about the progress women have made in the past year. But the fact remains that gender inequality is rampant, and in many parts of the world, women are still fighting for basic rights. Violence against women is widespread in many parts of Africa. Conflict, political unrest, and prejudice have contributed to widespread physical assault and sexual abuse. In Uganda alone, the United Nations says more than 60 percent of women were victims of some form of violence, either from an intimate partner or from strangers. Activists say they are also battling another long-standing practice known as female genital mutilation, or FGM. It involves the removal of external female genitalia for non-medical reasons. In some societies, the practice is believed to reduce libido in a woman to apparently help her resist illicit sexual activity. In Africa, an estimated 101 million girls aged 10 and older have undergone genital mutilation. But women also face other forms of discrimination. In this 2011 video, activist Manal al-Sharif drove a car in the Saudi city of Kobar. Saudi Arabia prevents women from driving their own cars and they must have permission from men to travel. Manal spent nine days in prison for her show of defiance. Still, perhaps some of the worst gender disparity in the world can be found in Yemen. 55 percent of women here are illiterate and only 21 percent work outside the home. And despite recent revolutions across the region, international studies suggest the most harmful cases of inequality, discrimination, rape and hatred toward women are in the Middle East and parts of Africa. The World Economic Forum's 2012 report rates Egypt, Iran, Mali, Morocco, Cote d'Ivoire, Saudi Arabia, Syria, Chad and Yemen among the world's worst for gender equality.